I call the Honourable Member Simon O'Connor. Oh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. It's an absolute delight with this robust debate that is uh, continuing to stand in support of this uh, Royal Society of New Zealand Amendment Bill. Um, as we know, it's here to incorporate the humanities uh, into the Royal Society, bringing about a, a series of minor changes, minor changes, Mr. Speaker, which for some reason took incredible uh, amount of time to go through and a very great number of clauses. But before I discuss that, I, I should acknowledge uh, the Honourable Member who is uh, sponsoring this bill for, for leading the process. I think uh, it's always important to, to give thanks. Uh, as someone with my own <laughs> private member's bill, as some indeed beg for forgiveness, very important lessons we could all learn. But as someone here with my own private member's bill now, I'm incredibly keen on aspects of very important legislation to be able to stand and make sure I understand the process fully and engage with it. So I'm incredibly grateful, Mr. Speaker, for this chance uh, post my maiden speech uh, to stand on this topic, to follow the lead of the Honourable Member and to have a chat. And I thank my uh, colleague uh, for his words as well, because, you know, learning is important. I said in my maiden speech that ideas are powerful, and something like the Royal Society is ultimately about ideas. So when we talk about sort of the filibustering or the slowness of the nature that this bill has had to come through Parliament, at one level, that's a good thing. Thoroughness, thoroughness is good. Rigor, rigor is important in study. However, however, there was a rigor mortis. There was a rigor mortis, I think, in, in what was happening. But you see, the flip side to all of that really is that whole filibustering, that dragging everything out and slowing it down is completely against, completely against the intent, completely against the intent of the society of wanting to celebrate ideas and ideas, importantly, ideas that are always about progress. It's all about progress. And that was one of the most unfortunate elements, I'm told, as this uh, bill has dragged its way through, trying to block one of the great um, ideas and bills that was put through last year. As we stand here, though, I just need to say, as we're talking about support, of course, and with uh, my constitutional bias, I do need to let members across the way in particular know uh, that my support for this bill is not due to the title royal being in there. Um, I do know that it's a jolly good reason to support a bill, uh, but that is not the reason. Look, Mr. Speaker, this bill is ultimately about knowledge and it's about learning. It's a bill that's important about advancing and celebrating learning in the area of the humanities. Um, more often than not, for those that know their history, there's always been a great division between the humanities and the sciences, and this has always been rather counterproductive. Um, so this bill, and again, I, I do thank uh, the Honourable Member for bringing it forward uh, in that timely manner, is that incorporating humanities into the Royal Society of New Zealand will allow a far more uh, holistic, robust, and some could say organic approach to research in this country. In fact, it's going to ensure that the humanities are recognised for being the major contributor to New Zealand society uh, that they are. And it's a delight to be able to stand and take the call because I'm someone who's benefited uh, from the humanities over the years, having studied and worked in a lot of the areas of which the Bill's Digest uh, talks to, actually. Uh, particularly particularly a, a love of philosophy. Marvellous to see that being incorporated there. I mean, and good philosophy too, not, not the stuff that pops out these days, sort of, you know, pop philosophy, but, you know, good stuff that something like the Royal Society would happily celebrate. Things like theology, of course, uh, one must acknowledge uh, that, and a, a colleague across the way, of course. Um, great to see that uh, religion and theology is going to be acknowledged by the Royal Society. Um, as someone, too, who's uh, enjoyed, of course, the arts and media and film, uh, again, tremendous that the Royal Society now is going to embrace this. Again, when we do look at the humanities, in fact, they, they derive initially from the liberal arts, sort of the, the earliest forms of learning that uh, humanity has known. And so it's great to actually be able to draw this into a bill, uh, draw it in beside the sciences so that together they can help New Zealand progress uh, in the way that I'm sure we all want it to do. Um, when we do talk about benefit, though, I think it's really important to, to make that distinction that uh, science uh, is something that is about talking about the nature of life. Uh, the humanities is actually trying to find what the meaning is, and bringing those two pieces together under the umbrella of a royal society is going to bring great strength, robustness, and rigour uh, to New Zealand. I think also it's really good to uh, see that the royal society is going to be celebrating the contribution that so many of our academics in particular uh, play 
in the humanities, the chance to become a fellow or an honorary fellow, uh, whatever the uh, other gender title would be appropriate, the chance for them uh, to be honorary fellowesses, yes? Fellesses, ladies, oh, I should really work on this, but I think it's really important to acknowledge that this bill is going to give the opportunity uh, to a large number of New Zealanders who have great success in the fields of the humanities uh, to be recognised for what they do, uh, to be members, uh, to be fellows. I think it's really important not only for what they do. Well, I think, well, if only we had, uh, Mr Bridges, if only we had, but here is this opportunity now. Oh, I know, it just goes around, really, but I mean, I think it's important to add words. Words, as I have said before, are powerful, powerful things, and it's a marvellous thing that this bill is here. I just want to come back, though, to that importance, uh, that importance, Mr Speaker, of celebrating success. That is something uh, I believe in very strongly, and one of the reasons I came to, to National, actually, celebrating success. This bill provides that opportunity to celebrate the success of those who work in the humanities of New Zealand. And in some ways, it's, uh, you know, twice a year, of course, we have the Royal Honours where, you know, great Kiwis across the spectrum are recognised. Well, here's another opportunity under this Royal Society to celebrate humanities in New Zealand. Again, those people that are contributing in marvellous ways. Well, I mean, exactly. Maybe this is something that could be considered in a future bill is, is you know, not just uh, fellowships, but titles with those as well. But look, I come back to what are really the core purposes, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the Royal Society is now here, not simply to celebrate uh, science, but here to also celebrate the humanities, that absolute most marvellous aspect of New Zealand society. And I, for one, who again has benefited so strongly from humanities, is great to be standing here today and celebrating that in so many different ways. As I said at the start, there's often been a division, and I think it's absolutely marvellous that, uh, you know, groups that are often celebrating division are always worried about things, are actually, after a very long time, prepared to come together and to celebrate that. So, of course... Oh, yes. But we do continue to speak, because ultimately, ultimately, I think this is what we come back to with all of this, is that the Royal Society is an opportunity for Kiwis to speak. We do it in all different sorts of ways. There's some of us standing here in the House, there'll be some outside who choose to protest, not necessarily on this bill, but this Royal Society is a chance for Kiwis, Kiwis right across the academic and intellectual uh, area now, to, to celebrate. So, Mr Speaker, it's an absolute delight to stand up here in support of this bill. Again, it's taken a long time to get here, and I think, I think it's important to echo that. I'm a great believer in echoing what has happened, and as this bill has taken a long time, I think it's important, too, that my, my gift in response is to reflect that back in this performance, to make sure we go through bit by bit. That is, that is my, that's my celebration, that's, that's my gift, and I do notice now, of course, that this bill will bring in theatre. This will bring in theatre, and so if this is my small contribution to that theatre, to reflect it back at you, that ability just to sort of discuss and debate, uh, to keep repeating those aspects, to, to drive them home, I, I feel that by doing that, you will all experience order, what this order. House in general has experienced. Order. So once again, thank you. Uh, I, was, I wasn't Speaker, there, I just much. wanted to, and before I call the next member, just want to inform the member that you have to be careful in using the word you, because you're actually referring to the Speaker, and if you look at um, Standing Order uh, 103, I think it is, you actually speak through the Speaker to the House. Uh, well, sorry, thank you, Mr Speaker. I think actually that echoes the whole point of the learning that uh, this bill is all about, so thank you. Speaker. I call the Honourable Member... Moana Mackey, turn up. Thank you.